Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2021 Porsche Macan Turbo, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like and share and subscribe to my channel. Even the base Macan with its two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine is fun to drive, but Porsche offers some serious firepower with the GTS and turbo models, both offering enough performance to shame most sports cars. There's also the mid-tier S model, which provides plenty of thrills, yet keeps the bottom line in check. If you're a bit less judicious with your purse strings, the Macan eclipses competitors by offering a nearly endless array of customization options. However, the Porsche's stellar attributes come at the cost of practicality and price. Other luxury SUVs are far less expensive and are ultimately more passenger friendly. The 2021 Porsche Macan is a small luxury SUV available in four trim levels of increasing performance. You've got your base model Macan here that starts at 52,100. Then the next model up the tier is the Macan S that starts at $60,200. From there, you have the more performance oriented GTS that starts at 72,100. And at the very top of the tier, you have the Macan Turbo with a starting MSRP of $84,600. All come standard with all-wheel drive and a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. So taking a deeper dive on these different trim levels and configurations, yeah, your base model Macan starts at $52,100 and includes a decent amount of standard equipment, such as that 2-liter engine that makes 248 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque. You get 18-inch wheels, tri-zone climate control, leather and faux suede upholstery, 8-way power adjustable front seats, 40-20-40 split rear seats, a 10.9-inch infotainment touchscreen, 10-speaker audio system, navigation, wireless Apple CarPlay, four USB ports, front and rear parking sensors, and lane departure warning. Moving up to the Macan S that, like I said before, has a starting MSRP of $60,200. This increases the performance. Now you get a three liter turbocharged V6. This engine makes 348 horsepower and 354 pound feet of torque. Now you get 19 inch wheels instead of 18 inch wheels. You get larger front brakes with six piston calipers. You get unique exterior trim and quad tailpipes. The GTS that starts at $72,100 ups the standard features and performance with a 2.9 liter turbocharged V6 engine. Now this engine makes 375 horsepower and 383 pound-feet of torque. You get 20-inch wheels, you get adaptive air suspension with a lower ride height, you get a sport exhaust system, aerodynamic body kit, adaptive headlights, and heated sport seats. The range topping Macan Turbo starts at $84,600 and increases engine output and adds features that are optional on lower trims. Highlights include a more powerful 2.9 liter V6 engine. Now it makes 434 horsepower and 405 pound-feet of torque. You get high performance brakes, heated steering wheel, driver's seat memory settings, 18-way power adjustable front sport seats, faux sway headliner, and a 14-speaker Bose audio system. Okay, real quick, let's talk about options. Options abound for all trims, bundled in packages, and offered as standalone features. Now, there is a couple of packages worth noting. One is the premium package. Here's what's included. A panoramic sunroof, keyless entry and ignition, adaptive LED headlights, uh, auto-dimming mirrors, heated seats, blind spot monitor, and a 12-speaker Bose audio system. And then you could actually upgrade the premium package to the premium package plus. That includes everything I just mentioned in the premium package, plus ventilated front seats, 14-way power adjustable sports seats, surround view camera system, electronically locking rear differential. Now you get a 16-speaker Burmester audio system, adaptive cruise control, lane keeping system, and an analog stopwatch paired with steering wheel mounted drive mode controller. I'm going to build and price the Macan Turbo, but for those looking for a more affordable Macan, the entry level model is a good place to start, but I think you should jump straight to the Macan S since its turbocharged V6 delivers the performance you'd expect of a Porsche. While there are more than enough standalone options to tailor the Macan to your taste, 
I'd start with the premium package for its solid set of luxury features. You might want to set aside a little money for a few of the Macan's many performance enhancing options too. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2021 Porsche Macan. We're going to build and price the turbo. But real quick before we get started, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews. I've put links down in the description below. This is definitely a performance SUV and I've done build and price reviews of lots of SUVs and lots of performance oriented SUVs. Uh, one that's a little more affordable than the Porsche and it's not German that I recently did is the 2021 Cadillac XT4 Sport. I really like that SUV. I think it's very solid. Uh, I also did the 2021 Maserati Levante and the top tier Trofeo trim. Very fast, very sporty uh, SUV. I also did the 2021 BMW X5 in the very fast sporty M50i trim. So after you watch this video, make sure you watch one or two of those other videos as well. Okay, so before we actually configure our 2021 Porsche Macan Turbo, where we're going to choose our exterior colors, our wheels, our interior colors, materials, and other options and features and packages, let's actually go through the features themselves, find out about design features, technology features, performance features, things like that. Go through the gallery real quick. And then we'll come back, jump into the Porsche configurator, and then spec out our uh, Macan Turbo. Okay, so first things first, let's find out about these design features of the 2021 Porsche Macan. Here they're just basically saying how great they are and that uh, they have Porsche DNA, letting you know that the Macan has Porsche DNA in it. Okay, so here now they're just telling us that the Macan is a pure sports car. It's got a rear designed rear end that's more powerful looking. Uh, there's new there's a new LED taillight strip that uh, more emphasizes the Porsche logo. There's uh, and uh, there's also a new four point brake lights. I don't really know what four point brake lights are, but there's new four point brake lights. They're also letting you letting us know that you know over the rear end these the the fenders the rear fenders are very wide under these over these wheels and that's very reminiscent of a 911 so it's got some 911 cues in that and they basically say that all of this all of this stuff all lets you know that at glance it's very easy to see that the macan has porsche dna in it okay so moving on here different slide here talking about design now they're really kind of talking about the the roof line of the porsche macan uh how it's coupe like uh, and it has a very sports car like contour and it's also very aerodynamic and if you get the turbo uh, then you get a new uh, rear uh, a new roof spoiler that optimizes those aerodynamics other notable design features around the front end you got enlarged intakes here and this is going to let you let the uh, the vehicle breathe in more air so the engine is optimally cooled right and that's always good and then they also talk about the standard LED headlights as well, which we knew about. Okay, so moving on, more design features. They're talking about the side blades, and they say that the side blades also attract attention. They create dynamic lines that are reminiscent of the Porsche 918 Spyder. Uh, and so the Macan and the Macan S, if you get that, they're finished in lava black, as we can see here. Uh, as standard, but as an option for all Macan models, the side blades are also available in carbon fiber, brilliant silver, high gloss black, or other exterior colors. And then they talk about the hood, though they don't show the hood very much on this clip, that the hood is wide and it's suggestive of the legendary Porsche 917, which won lots of victories at Le Mans. Then they get a little more specific talking about the turbo. The turbo is the special model. The turbo takes gives you new LED headlights, four point daytime running lights that include Porsche dynamic light system, the side blades are in exterior color, uh, and you get the sport design exterior mirrors, 20-inch uh, Macan turbo wheels and dark titanium, and all of that. To me, the turbo model is absolutely way, is the way to go if you have you know that kind of money to put into this vehicle. Here they're showing the different wheels that are standard on the different models right like they've got this 18 inch wheel that's for the base model they got the, the 18 inch wheel for the s and then they got some 19 inch wheels here 
uh, 19-inch Macan design wheels. Here are some 20-inch turbo wheels in dark titanium. I just, uh, I just mentioned those. And then they've got these other ones in satin platinum, these 20-inch. And then they have the 21-inch RS spider wheels. Those are nice, won't be cheap. And then one of my favorite design wheels, I often do the Panamera in these wheels, which I did do a Panamera. Well, I did the 2020. I like the Panamera a lot. Uh, I do the 21-inch wheels, 911 Turbo Design wheels. Those are very nice. I like those wheels. These wheels are okay. The Sport Classic wheel, uh, I don't know if we're, we're, not, we're definitely not going to do that. I think we'll probably do ours with the 911 Turbo Design wheels. Those are just my favorite. Uh, they show them right up here, and they, they look fantastic. Okay, let's move on. Let's let's find out about the interior of the 2021 Porsche Macan. They're talking about these little sporty front seats, the optional 14-way uh, power seats with the memory package or the 18-way adaptive sport seats with the memory package. Uh, yeah, okay, let's get into this. Okay, so the first thing we can do in the interior is do a 360 uh, virtual look around of the interior. Here's the big, chunky Alcantara steering wheel. I really like the Alcantara steering wheel. I had somebody comment on another video on a car they were getting, and they said they weren't going to get it with the Alcantara wheel because those get nasty over time. person said it like they had some experience with it, which is the way they mentioned it. And I've, I'm inclined to believe them. You know, I, that thing is going to get all your hand oils, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the interior looks very nice, though, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. It does. It's your standard leather interior. Love the... Uh, the, is it standard Alcantara headliner? I don't remember, but it's very nice. The the, the stainless steel or whatever they call this trim, I, I'm not a fan of it on any kind of vehicle. Uh, yeah, looks really, really good. All right, let's move on. So they say that, hey, look, we're Porsche. We're a sports car manufacturer. Uh, and so the deal is this. Thanks to the architecture of the Macan, you're integrated into the vehicle. So it's like you're one with the machine kind of thing. I don't know what they're trying to get at. That, you know, they know what they're doing. Uh, you get a three-dimensional arrangement of the controls uh, and all this kind of stuff. The instrument cluster with its, you know, its classic three-tube design, centrally positioned tachometer, and all that there. Although your average person who's buying a Macan isn't going to be probably paying attention to that tachometer at all. Here they're telling you that all the controls and switches and gears and everything, everything's close together. They say the distances between the standard multi, uh, multi-function multi steering wheel and the PDK gear selector and other main vehicle functions is extremely short. Just like uh, that's very standard characteristics of a sports car. The ignition key is also on the left, which is traditional Porsche. Here they're talking about the three-spoke sports steering wheel and how it's inspired by the design of the 918 Spider. Uh, they also talk about gear changes are ergonomic, fast, and sporty using the two gear shift paddles. I can kind of see the very bottom of one right down here. Okay, it looks like we got a little gallery here. Let's just uh, cruise through these gallery images real fast. They look to be a miscellaneous hodgepodge of interior and exterior photos of different trim level Macans. I love the red face gauges. I see the carbon fiber interior trim. Seems like my kind of uh, layout. See how many more uh, photos we have here. I went, well, there it is. I guess that's the end. Let's move on. Okay, next, let's talk about the comfort features for our 2021 Porsche Macan. They say, even at full throttle, all is calm on the inside. Here they're talking about the uh, the roof rails that are available in aluminum or high gloss black finish. Uh, obviously, you can use those for storage and carrying things. Uh, they're the prerequisite for the optional roof transport system. Uh, it's available as factory fitted option, optional for all Macan models. So further talking about this roof transport system, they're also talking about these lockable uh, cross members. Uh, and it's compatible with all Porsche modules. Their low-bearing parts and aluminum are designed to carry a maximum load of 167 pounds. They also let us know there's a range of aftermarket modules that are available uh, from the Porsche Tech Equipment Accessories Program, and it's optional for all Macan models. Okay, so talking about the luggage compartment, well, there's a large luggage, luggage compartment with the seats up. You've got 17.6 cubic feet of capacity. Uh, there's a, apparently a storage compartment on the side. I can kind of see it over here. There's a little cubby compartment over there on the side. The rear bench seat that, that we can see the backside of, that's a 40-20-40 uh, split fold-down seat. 
And if you fold those seats all the way down, you get 52.9 cubic feet of storage capacity. All right. And then there's also, they say, a, re a removable luggage compartment. And then they also talk down here about a ski bag from Porsche to equipment that can also be removed. Oh, and then they talk about for loading convenience, the optional air suspension allows you to lower the rear end of the vehicle by 30 millimeters using a button in the luggage compartment. All right, let's talk about seats here. They're showing us the 18-way adaptive sports seats with memory package. Uh, this is the ultimate uh, seating comfort with sportiness. So you get the 18-way elect electric adjustment seats, uh, and the steering column is also electronically adjustable. Here they're talking about some sound systems. Here is the Burmester high-end audio. The turbo model gets the 16-speaker Burmester. Uh, there's also a Bose audio system that has 14 speakers. And then they have a Sound Package Plus. Uh, 10 speakers with an output of 150 watts. Uh, you get This is integrated into the Porsche communi uh, PCM, Porsche Communication Management. And it's standard in the Macan GTS and the Macan S and the Macan. So the turbo doesn't get it because, well, I guess it gets the, the Burmester high-end audio system, which maybe might be something altogether different. I don't know. Here they're talking about the Porsche Communication Management, otherwise known as PCM, and it's your control center for audio, navigation, and communication. Uh, as part of the navigation and infotainment services, you also get online navigation, which provides real-time traffic information and uh, using mobile da uh, data as standard. And this all goes through a 10.9-inch touchscreen display with full HD resolution. Here they're talking about they have an app uh, called Porsche Connect. offers useful services and smartphone apps that make your life easier. Uh, so far, they haven't told us anything else. This is kind of funny because the average driver one of these is never going to be on rough terrain off-road. It says Porsche Off-Road Precision App. So it says when you're driving through rough terrain, this app provides valuable driving tips. Like what? Like don't crash, don't run off the road, stuff like that. No, it says it'll, uh, it can record your progress, improve your performance, share your status with friends, or simply challenge one another. Nobody's going to be off-road in one of these. Like if you get a turbo that's 84000 and by the time you get done option it, now you got this hundred and something thousand dollar SUV that's really built for just grocery getting and you know, driving around in the suburbs and whatnot. Yeah, it does other stuff, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, none of those people are going to be using this Porsche Off-Road Precision app more than just testing it out for the uh, the effects of it for one or two times. Am I reading this correct? It says, available is an option. The Apple CarPlay function enables you to connect. So Apple CarPlay is not standard. I, I thought it was standard anyway because they're down here talking about wireless Apple CarPlay and all this other stuff. Here they're showing us a smartphone compartment with inductive charging function. Okay, that's cool. So here they're talking about the headlights. So you got the LED headlights. The Macan and Macan S are fitted with LED headlights. Here's they're talking about the Porsche dynamic lighting system. This is standard in the Macan Turbo. And then here's the Porsche dynamic lighting system plus. It's available as an option and it makes the lights even better. There are some available assistance systems like lane departure warning. There's adaptive cruise control, lane change assist, lane keep assist, park assist front and rear with reversing camera. And then there's reversing camera. And then there's surround view. All right, let's talk about performance features. We've got several engines here, right? I, I already went over the engines, but let's go over them. At the top of the tier, you got the 2.9 liter twin turbo V6 engine that's in the Macan Turbo. It makes 434 horsepower. Then you got the engine in the GTS. It's also 2.9 liter, but you know, it's obviously, it's 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 a little bit different, uh, toned down a little bit from 434 to 375 horsepower. And then you got the S. The S also gets a, it gets a V6 engine, but now it's a three liter V6 engine. And this engine makes 348 horsepower. Nothing wrong with that, a respectable 348, I should say. And then you have the two liter, you got the base model 2 liter makes 248 horsepower. And here's the deal. If you were going to get this 2 liter, if you're going to get the base model Macan, then you might want to look at that X-T4. Because I think the X-T4 makes about the same kind of horsepower, right? Same kind of horsepower. I'm not telling you to get one. I'm just saying that at this price, at, at that kind of performance, 
you know, this is just regular routine horsepower as far as I'm concerned. And why pay that much money for a Porsche and not get what really makes a Porsche a Porsche? And that's the engine. No matter what uh, model you get, the standard transmission on the Macan models is a 7-speed PDK transmission. Okay, here they're talking about the chassis and some of its features like an air suspension, uh, the Porsche Active Suspension Management called PASM, Porsche Traction Management. They have more acronyms than anybody. Uh, Porsche Torque Vectoring Plus, and then the off-road button. Here they're talking about the Sport Chrono Package, and basically the Sport Chrono Package provides sportier tuning of the chassis, engine, and transmission. It includes a stopwatch with an analog and digital display and Sport Chrono functions in Porsche Communication Management to view, store, and evaluate lap times as well as other driving stats. Here they're talking about an additional function is launch control, which helps deliver optimal acceleration. Uh, there. Here they're talking about the different brakes. So the Macan is equipped with four piston aluminum uh, front uh, fixed brake calipers. The Macan S upward uh, gets six piston calipers are equipped, at, but probably to varying degrees and all of that there. You can also get the brake colors, uh, calipers finished in uh, a different color. Here they're talking about how you can get them finished in black. And there's also a titanium gray uh, oh, they're in different colors on the different models. They're red on the GTS, uh, on the Macan Turbo, they're white, and on the Macan S, they're a titanium gray. So this must be a Macan S one that they're showing us. You could also get the Porsche ceramic composite brakes if you want the carbon ceramic brake kind of deal. For plus, easily these are going to be upwards of seven grand or more. Uh, I don't really think they're necessary, even if you're going to get the turbo, even if you want to have what you think is the best configuration. I don't think you necessarily need the carbon ceramic brakes. And then they've got these Porsche surface coated brakes. So this basically combines a standard cast iron brake disc with a ceramic coating. Okay, so we actually got through all the features. Now we're ready to jump over to the Porsche configurator, see what all these colors are, choose one. Uh, go through the wheels, go through the interior colors, materials, go through all those options and all of that. Okay, so first things first, let's go through these exterior colors. So first, let's go through these no-cost uh, colors here. We've got our standard colors. First one is white, and then we also have black. As far as metallic colors go, there's Carrera White. These colors cost money. You can see the, you can see the denomination, how much they cost up here in the corner. You've got the uh, Carrera White, you've got Jet Black Metallic, uh, you've got the Volcano Gray, you've got Dolomite Silver. So far, these are all $700 paint options. You've got the Sapphire Blue Metallic, you've got the Night Blue Metallic, you've got the Mamba Green, and you have the Mahogany Metallic. For special colors, these colors cost what? Here's the Carmine Red at $3,120. You've got the chalk at the same price, and then you have the Miami blue. And then they show you these exterior colors that range from a non-metallic $11,430. I guess you can get these custom colors, I suppose, whatever you wanted, if you want to spend $11,430. I think we're just going to go with the standard black. Standard black color, no cost option. Why? Why not? I like the flat black, meaning it's got no metallic flake in it. It means when you wax this out, it's going to look absolutely fantastic, in my opinion. Okay, so wheels. There's tons and tons and tons of wheel options here. Uh, I told you that I like the 21-inch 911 Turbo Design wheels. We're going to go ahead and get these wheels. They're $2,200. There they are. I think they look fantastic. Next up is what? You got wheel accessories. So do you want summer tires? Do you want summer tires for the 20-inch alloy wheels? Nah, I think we'll stick with the all-season tires. That's fine. All right, so let's go through the interior colors and materials. So here's the standard uh, interior with leather package uh, and partial leather seats, right? These are the no-cost options. You got the, the black. You've got the agate gray. You've got the black and garnet red. And then you have the black and Mojave beige. Okay, moving up the tier here now, you've got these leather seats here. These are plus 
$1,890. Now you got, you're back to the black here, and then you're back to agate gray, but now we're in full leather. Now you got the agate gray and pebble gray. Eh, okay. Then you've got the black and garnet red. Now these is, this one's plus $2,140. So is that uh, agate, this one here. This one's plus $2,140. And then you've got the black and Mojave beige, also plus $2,140. Then you've got these uh, espresso seats, $3,180 for the espresso seats. I don't really think they're that fantastic. So you know what? This should be no surprise. Give me the standard, give me the all leather seats. So plus $1,890 for the all leather seats. I think they look great. Okay, and then as far as what kind of seats, you know, there's either the comfort seats or the sports seats plus. We have the sports seats plus. Uh, these are the adaptive sports seats. They're 18 way with a memory package. Must be standard on the Macan Turbo. Bonus. Okay, so now we can actually go through options. Here's options start right here, and look at all this. You got packages, exterior options, performance options, lights and vision, comfort and assistance, interior, all these different ones. And we're not going to necessarily do all of these. And then you have the tech equipment accessories as the next category. So we got a lot of options. Let's start with the packages here. And I already talked about that premium plus, premium package plus. It's a lot of stuff. You get the surround view, you get the heated seats, uh, you get the Porsche entry and drive, the panoramic sunroof, the LED lights. That's the Porsche Dynamic Lighting System Plus, the lane keeping assist, everything. So plus $5,380. Let's go ahead and add that bad boy to the selection. They say you want to add the following package. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I thought we already did that. They were just confirming in a different way. All right, let's move on and uh, see what else there is. All right, so we've got exterior. You got the panoramic roof system. The rest of this stuff is roof rails. There's a sport design package without side skirts. Uh, let's see what these sport design packages look like. So it's you you know you get a sport design front fascia and a rear fascia and a roof spoiler. You know I do think that stuff's kind of cool. I do absolutely. Uh, what's this sport design package in black with outside skirts, for instance? Uh, you know, they, they don't really show many different pictures, so you don't really get a good visual on that. I don't think, uh, I don't think we're going to add a whole bunch of extras. I mean, cause it's very easy to nickel and dime this and we could spend another 45 minutes just going through this. So here's what I'm going to do. Okay. Let me just show you everything that I just selected. I already went through all of these. It was easier. Some of them I skipped actually under performance, you know, standard stuff here. Uh, the seven speed PDK. I did option the adaptive air suspension and the sport chrono package. Under uh, lights and vision, we got the LED headlights. That's the Porsche Dynamic Light System Plus. We got the auto dimming mirrors. That's included in the premium package. And that's all we did in, under lights and vision. Under comfort and assist systems, uh, I didn't select lane change assist because that was in that premium package. Got the surround view. And we have the lane keep assist, lane change assist. They see they say include in the premium package plus. So we got all of that stuff. And then we got the Porsche entry and drive. That's also included in the premium package plus as well. Uh, moving on to interior, I opted for the heated seats. Right, that's part of the package, the premium package, as is the ventilated seats. And then there was nothing else that I chose in that category. I kept it pretty simple is what I'm saying. Because we're already sitting at $105,000. And at the end of the day, you're talking about the smallest SUV at, at a six-figure. Technically, no, nah, it's not really worth it. But this would be the one, this would be the way that I'd want to build it. But there's a limit, you know. There's a limit. I didn't do anything for interior race techs or interior wood. I did choose the interior trim and carbon fiber and the door sill guards and carbon fiber and also illuminated. Uh, as far as audio and communication, I did the smartphone compartment with the wireless charging and the Burmester high-end surround sound system. And then the delivery experience is like, do you want to pick this up in Zuffenhausen and all that? Nah, I didn't do any of that kind of stuff. The next is basically accessories. And honestly, you know, you got child seats, carrying accessories, transports, like those are your luggage carriers and all that interior stuff like floor mats and whatnot 
wheels and accessories well i already chose my wheels so you know what we're not going to even do anything under tech equipment accessories so with that said um i think we can actually move on to the summary yeah, all this print is very, very small, but the bottom line is this. It cost $105,740 to build, price, and option this 2021 Porsche Macan Turbo. Fully loaded, honestly. It's, it's, it's fully loaded, and it's quite nice. It is quite nice, but it's going to cost you a lot of money. But, you know, there's somebody out there buying one just like that. And on this note... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap this video up. If you found this review of the 2021 Porsche Macan Turbo helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the very next video.